Good morning all, camelbacktrading.org coming to you this Wednesday morning, March 13th. Looking at window traders market profile of the ES and the NQ. So, both the ES and NQ have made new all-time highs in the overnight. Okay, so that'll be definite target to attempt to get at some point. We um, have sold off. We did a lot of business <clears throat> right above uh, settlement, 16 wide in ES. Now, NQ, I'm in different uh, four t uh, tick increments. I'm not sure how wide they are just yet. But the majority of the business yesterday was done, as you can see, in M period in ES and NQ, or a little above. But now, we're pushing lower, trying to make new lows in the pre-market. Um, yesterday... Uh, we only had a seven wide point of control. Now, we did have a nice afternoon pullback. We had taken back the trend day. We had taken back the gap. So you have pretty much of a price vacuum down to this level here, which still will be important today. Half back from yesterday, value low, the afternoon pullback. We stayed above the opening. So bulls will want to defend that. Remember, we're in a four-day balance on the daily. Monthly and weekly are up. However... If we fail at the balance high, we'll see if we roll over to the balance low. Now, yesterday on those pullbacks, there was a tremendous amount of market-generated information in your favor to long this. Next day, even though price might be the same, this is why I say don't trade price, context will be totally different if we are to trade down here. You'll have unchanged value, not higher. You'll have indices that are lower, not higher. Possibility of having the overnight low, not the overnight high. Possibly of having the IB low, not the IB high. Do you see the differences? Even though price, right, it's the same price. But the context is is a thousand percent different. So, yes, I would probably look for that long the first time, but the context is different tremendously, and I would certainly be out below um, probably the opening from yesterday. But that's getting ahead of ourselves. As of right now, depending, we have just under an hour to go prior to the opening. We'll see where the overnight low is and the overnight high. Again, good risk reward against yesterday's high and the overnight high, if it was to push up there, out above, as then they would probably go test the balance high, okay, which is at 57 and a quarter. And on the flip side, depending on where the overnight low is, that's a pretty anchored thing to take a long against because they do front run a lot. But once they got that, uh, if they were to take that, then things would change dramatically for me. And it's the same thing in NQ. Righty <coughs> has traded inside of yesterday's range all day. Righty is still down on the daily. They never came back into balance. Keep that in mind. And then chart-wise, so we'll just show you the daily. Four-day balance, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday. Yesterday, we came close to the balance high. We can attempt it again today, possibly. However, if we don't, eventually, the destination would be to test Monday's low. Good luck trading today. Uh, but I am leaving early today. I'm leaving around 2.30ish. There will be a video um, this afternoon, but it might be later than it normally is. Have a great day trading, and we'll speak at 4 p.m.